I think that it, it's something that we all can relate to. I understand that sometimes we may feel like our faith is rock solid hard, that there's nothing uh, that could cause us to become a little shaky. But I, I talk to a lot of different Christian people and I know my own struggles in my own life and I know that there are moments in our lives when we may feel like our faith is a little shaken. Maybe we get some bad news or maybe we're going through some marital problems. Maybe we're having occupational issues, trying to find a job. Maybe COVID-19 is really um, shaking your faith. And some people are really in fear. Our pastor, uh, Greg Ammons, preached the sermon about uh, fear and faith yesterday. So there's a, a lot of fear and faith being um, talked about today. And I know that in my life, struggling with the shins muscular dystrophy, sometimes my faith, faith does get shaky. Uh, maybe I, I'm dealing with bad news. Uh, like my father-in-law, his cancer battle, Christina's going to share with us. Guys, unfortunately, it's coming to an end and not the end that we really wanted to see. And looking at my father-in-law suffering with, with cancer and hoping and praying that, that it was going to be okay. And now the doctors say that, that it's not going to be okay and he is going to go be with the Lord. And it's just shocking. It's just sad. It's just um confusion that, that you don't understand what's going on and you don't want it to happen and it can shake your faith it can get you shaken in your faith and i know some of you guys watching right now maybe you're going through a hard time or maybe you have and you've experienced this shaking in your faith that i'm talking about and being shaken in your faith doesn't mean that you're losing your faith it just means that you, that you gotta stand up and shake yourself off a little bit. And I know that maybe sometimes you enter into a phase of being angry at God. And some people go through that and, and, and have to process that. And even the Psalms, David poured out his heart before God and when he was shaken in his faith. Joseph was sold into slavery and he was shaken in his faith. Hannah earnestly prayed that God would give her a child and she was shaken a little bit in her faith, but she remained faithful. So what does God's word say this morning for you guys about staying faithful when your faith is shaken? We're going to look at 2 Corinthians uh, in chapter 4 today, and it is a, a very good passage of scripture that I really enjoy. It's the Apostle Paul speaking here. He says, you see, we don't go around preaching about ourselves. We preach that Jesus Christ is Lord and we ourselves are your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who said, let there be light in the darkness has made this light shine in our hearts so, we could, so that we could know the glory of God that is seen in the face of Jesus Christ. We now have this light shining in our hearts, but we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This made it clear that our great power is from God, not from ourselves. The great passage of scripture talking about who we are and we're like jars of clay. I know there was a, a, a great contemporary Christian band called Jars of Clay. And maybe this is where they get the band name. I'm not sure. But you and I are clay jars, meaning that we are disposable. We are fragile. You can throw clay against the wall and, and the pot will just shatter. And you and I, we are like these clay vessels, guys. And the light of God's word. And the light of the gospel has shone in your heart. If you are a follower of Jesus today, and maybe you're not a follower of Jesus, Jesus yet, and, and we're glad that you're here with the Motivation family. Like, we love you guys, and there's something here for everybody. But if you have not experienced that light shining in your heart, then you can today. And I want you to stick around with the One Motivation. We love you guys, and we're glad you're here. 
but guys, we are clay vessels and God's great glorious light has shone in our hearts if we're believers. Um, his Holy Spirit resides in us and, and that is this great treasure in our hearts. But guys, sometimes because we are clay vessels, our faith can be shaken. And I want to give us some things real quick this morning that will help us when we feel like our faith is shaken. Keep going. This is what I came up with. Number one, if you're shaken in your faith, meditate on the nature of God, who God is. Understanding that God is love, God is merciful, God is gracious, God is patient. And God is judgment. God is just also. But when your faith is shaken, you need to meditate on who God is. God is, as the contemporary Christian worship song says, a good, good father. He is a good, good father. And you need to meditate on that when you start to feel that your faith is shaken. Remember that. And most importantly, remember he is a God who keeps his promises. And he promises you guys that he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And as you go through your life, sometimes you feel like you're, 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 you're shaken and you're falling. But there's another passage of scripture that I wanted to look at this morning. If I can scroll back up to it or Christina can put it on the screen. This is why Paul said, we are pressed on every side by trouble. But we're not crushed. We're perplexed but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Through suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be seen in our bodies. So as Paul, you notice that he said all these negative things that, that were happening to them. But he always added the positive on the other end of that. And that, that is so helpful that when we feel like we're pressed down, we feel like we're shaken, remind yourself that you may be shaken, but you are not destroyed. And you may be cast down, but you are not destroyed. You may be down, but you're not out. And number one, meditate on who God is. God keeps his promises. He's a God of love. Number two, Develop and maintain spiritual rhythm. Guys, spiritual rhythm is so very important when, you're, when you feel like your, your faith is being shaken. You still need to get up in the morning. You still need to have that time with God in prayer, that time with God in Bible study, that time with God in, in worship music. Maybe it's in the morning. Maybe it's at night. And maybe it's on your lunch break. You need that consistent time with God. Also, as you're maintaining the spiritual rhythm, you need to be connected with your church family. I know with social distancing, we can't really be as connected with our family as we want to be. But there are also some churches are doing Zoom meetings. You can Zoom in with your Sunday school class or your small group and, and just be a part of the Christian community. Uh, watch your services online. And obviously, come to the Mother Motivation. We will be there. We will be your Christian community that will uplift you and hold you up through this time as you're away from your church family. Number three, focus on the big picture from God's perspective. Sometimes it's, it's easy to focus on what's going on in our life, whether it's the problem that we're dealing with, the job that we're trying to get, uh, the, the, the death in our family, uh, it's easy to focus on those, those things from our perspective. But it's also good to get the satellite picture from God's perspective and ask yourself, what is God doing through this? Because God says that he works all things together for good. So we need to ask ourselves, God, what are you trying to do in this? I, I don't like what's going on here. But God, I know your ways are not like my ways. And as um, Sandra came and shared with us about Brittany's backpack ministry, y'all remember she talked about, you know, how God used the death of her daughter, which as it was happening, was a bad thing. It was terrible. It was heartrending. 
but God used the death of Brittany to launch Sandra into a ministry that is impacting homeless people, um, school kids, and, and just really impacting the community. So when you're going through something bad, stop for a minute and say, God, what are you doing? And try to look at God's perspective. Number four, be real with your emotions. Find an outlet for that, whether it's journaling, uh, write down your thoughts. I know someone who, who draws and, and really expresses herself as she's reading the scripture. She gets the wide margin Bibles and she draws in it and, and draws some really beautiful pictures that this is her um, expressing her emotions to God. And some people write journals. Um, me, I like to find um, a safe person. This is a friend that I know their heart and I love them and they love me. And I can go to them and I can talk with them. I can share my emotions, how I'm feeling. I can tell them I'm shaking in my faith or I'm struggling in this area. I also like to call my sister. It's great to add spiritual family. And if you don't have a spiritual family member, then find someone else that's your safe person. And watch out for number three. Five, watch out for spiritual attacks when your faith is shaken. This is when Satan likes to come to you and, and taunt you. This is when your, your flesh may get weak and you may be tempted to fall into um, patterns that are unproductive and unpleasing to God. Be careful. Watch out for that. And lastly, guys, keep walking. Just keep walking. Your faith may be shaking. Things may be burning down around you. Um, but keep on walking through the fire, through through the, the storm. Uh, you keep on going and, and know that God is going to be with you. It's just like Paul said that we're, we're pressed on every side, but we're, we're not just, we're not in despair. We're not, we're not done. We're going to keep going. So here's the bottom line, guys. You're going to go through times in your life when you feel like your faith is shaken almost to the very core. And I want to encourage you that God's light has shown in your heart and that his power is contained in your clay vessel. And you may feel weak. You may feel like a fragile clay pot. But I assure you that if you hang on tight, and if you put some of these action steps to practice in your life, you're going to make it to the other side. Motivation family, we're going to make it. And I want to encourage you with that. And I hope that's a blessing to you today. Uh, real quick, if you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button on YouTube and be a part of the Motivation family. And those of you on Facebook who are watching live, maybe you can go to the Buzz inspiration that is our page on facebook and be a part of that page and come back to the morning motivation and be a part of, of what we what we are here and be motivated and motivate other people that's why we're here